Perfect. So, what do you think? Well, I guess the, it was funny because it was just before where I was, oh, you should take a look at this. Yeah. See. Now, I love uh, sort of... Uh, Oh, what is that? Is it candles? It's no, there's a like I see all colored and it looks like they're pottery. <gasps> oh, wow. They're, I mean, those are just the dollar store ones, which, yeah, yeah. which um, I don't know about you. I went to different because I was going around trying to find different boxes before I went to the box person. Yeah. Uh, and I, these were some pretty nice. I mean, they, they seem to work. Oh, they're pretty nice is right. Um, but I'm not like, they're sort of in, in small quantities and not colored, right? Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're kind of close, but yeah. um, what I have there is I found in a, in, God, my, can't even, <laughs> in those thrift store, <laughs> thrift store uh -huh. uh, yeah. a, a four by four grid, you know, just what you saw there, right? And so, yeah. So it's like 16. So now what this is, is I could go to a room with 32 people. Wow. Couples or just 32 people and each, each of them get one of them. And then what I did uh -huh. is I divided the cards and each one has uh, two value cards, two, oh. value cards, two convo types, <gasps> two choice, a flow and either a harmony or a synergy mm -hmm. and, then, and one convo killer. Wow. Oh, is that ever a good idea? So then I'm thinking, okay. And that was just on the creativity part of the start and then going, that's, that's like just using one full deck kind of thing. There's some left over, but using all the cards, having enough for 32 people and then going, okay, well, what can we do with those cards? There's nine of them, right? So like you can come up with exercises where people are walking around the room and they're like, okay, for 10 minutes, uh, find like maybe trade a value, find a value that you want to trade maybe, or um, maybe they create a story with it, or maybe they create an interview, or maybe they had their combo types. You go, okay, you got to come up with a conversation based upon these parameters. And now you're going to go meet people kind of thing. That is cool. Lots of different ways you could brainstorm that. Yeah, you know, I I I talked to Lara last night. I sent her a note, and she so she's been quite busy at her place at the coffee shop. Is that what she runs? Spinning Ninny. It's well, it's 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 kind of, it's more of a thrift store kind of secondhand store. Oh, uh, okay. A lot of her stuff she sells in it that she makes. Oh, good for her. Well, yeah, she says she's been quite busy. So her and I are going to plan a call maybe this afternoon later after my Spanish class. Okay. Yeah. Just to chat with her a little bit. Like, that's a great idea, what you're just talking about there. You give them this many cards, they pick, and then they go around and they create conversation. And whether you know the person or not, what a way to start up a conversation. Yeah. What did you say? There was how many choice? There was two two value cards, two yeah. combo types, two choice. Uh-huh. Um, one flow. Yeah, I, either harmony. the synergy or the harmony, and yeah. then and then one convo killer. Okay. Ah. Okay, that is really good. That's a really cool idea because it gives them a taste of a little bit of everything, but yet not overwhelming them. That's I think that's what's important, Elijah, is for us to start getting people just that like this ex, like getting so excited over a little bit that they just yeah. want more. Yeah. yeah, give them a taste. Yeah, give them a taste. And I think that's that's a big deal. I was um, looking up those women that are going to be doing this training, coming up with Creative Saskatchewan. Yeah. And uh, man, she's pretty cool. She's got a podcast and it's called, just wait, it's called The Story Something. So I wrote down some things here. And I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll maybe email this to you just so you have it. But Shit, I can't remember where I wrote down her name of her. It's to do with storytelling, though. 
Okay. It's a lot to do with storytelling, like everything that she does. But uh, so I like her. I think she'd be a good instructor. I just thought, well, check this woman out, right? Oh, sounds good. I, uh... And you know, you know, when they say like, what's your niche or what's your avatar? Uh huh. She said on there, she said, who is it? Who do they represent? What's the culture? Where, what stage are they in life? And this is what you talked about yesterday. What's their job? What's their emotional journey? Their core issues, themes, topics, certain cultures. There are so many conversations already going on online. And how do we find those people? But she said, whatever you do initially, don't use gender or age ranges initially. Oh. It all starts with things that people care about. So it doesn't matter on the age initially because we want to reach a global audience. Because people today, Elijah, would you think of promoting to a 61-year-old? With my stuff? Yes. Yeah. 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 But like, because the thing is, all the stuff that you have, and then yet I look at the kids from the Visionator camp, how intrigued they were with values, pulling up values every day. So there you go. There's 12-year-olds and 11 and 10-year-olds, and there's a 60-year-old that's well, real in this work. I think that, I think what she's bringing, like, I think when you, let's say, customize to a niche market, which I think is very smart to do, yeah. that what we have is like, is actually a whole system, like it's an actual whole system. So yeah. and it can customize to that niche market with the tools that we have. Yeah. Um, but there is the broader audience of there's so many different niche markets that could utilize the tools. Right. And, and basically, I think what she's going to have is the, is sort of like the icing on the cake of uh, she's probably got a very unique configuration of lots of the pieces to really look at that unique niche. And I yeah. think that, that could be very valuable. Plus as well as, you know, the people you meet and the, going through the process yeah. of seeing how someone else is doing, I think she'd be a great ally. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. she's, she said, start out like any other things I've done. Well, find your niche, funnel it right down to your dot. But she said, no, keep yourself open to three niches initially. That's what she said in her podcast. I don't know what she's going to tell us in this training, but like I that's think, what she said. I think eight, but but that. Oh, do you? Well, that's like the, like you can you distinguish in three ways, and you create eight categories. So that's yeah. why, like the male or female, rich, poor, young or old. Uh -huh. When you, when you make that choice, mm -hmm. you then go to the next level. You make a choice. You go you go three levels of choice, and you get eight categories. That's I think I've told oh. you. That it's called it thirty eight yeah. special. So it's yeah. just, it's a way of ordering info. And I think oh. it, because marketing's at eight, marketing mm -hmm. strategies is eight. That's why I like eight, I use eights at mm -hmm. marketing and strategies. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So the number eight, I mean, you know, like seven yep. paths, six relationships, five mm -hmm. products, four activities. It's like number yep. has significance. Number has significance. You're right. When people figure that out, they're going to learn the key to the universe. Rob has a brother-in-law, David, ex-brother-in-law, and he's one of those guys that are, he's kind of like you, like he's just so highly intelligent that sometimes you just don't want to be in the mainstream because it drives you crazy. Aye. Like, why aren't people traveling at a higher vibration? Aye. So I'm going to read, I sent Sylvia a note on this, and I just said to her, because she's out camping, but I said, look at question number eight and nine. And give us some of your feedback. So on eight, she said, working on a self-study could very easily become the five spaces map. The way we worked through it last week was fabulous, which she's talking about the school. Right. This is an easy four-step process. Selecting values, primary intention, goal setting, attaching values to the goals. Describe the project, five spaces map. This is if she's saying, this is just her view. Okay. Her okay. point of view. She's saying, let's say that it was the five spaces map. She says, who's working on it? And then she says, the goal is to have people understand the importance of knowing their values and how knowing and living by their values will create happiness, understanding, and balance. Also, this is a great intro into the new paradigm toolkit. Plus, it can also be um, one that can become automated for a source of income. So number nine, she said, Describe the history. I think she says, I think you got this. Tell them a bit about the history with Elijah and then how using this system in your business changed how you do business and how it's impacted the people you work with. So that was her thing in number nine. 
Mm. So what do you think? Like, well, I have a let me show you something. Okay. And this is, I don't think I've shown you. I just uh, had my a meeting with Jordan and Brooke. Mm -hmm. And they were the first ones to get it. Actually, Chinoa is because I live with her. And Aww. She oh, is that where it. you live? You live? I love Chinoa. Yeah, yeah, we live together. Oh, that's um, cool. Yeah, none of this would be happening without her. Oh, Elijah, support. it just, oh. Okay, so here, mm -hmm. I, I knuckled down and I did, you know, I followed, so I've got five communication spaces, module okay. one, inflow matrix map one, module one. Oh! And then on the back, Inflow matrix training program level one, series one, design your ideal job, and then primary intention, a place to write your primary intention, and then wow. the five community oh, spaces map. That's beautiful. Wow. Okay, that's that's module one now. Yeah. Yeah. Module two, the okay. one year 13 cycle four spaces pulse map. Okay. Where you now take the goal that you had from your five communication spaces map, mm -hmm. you put it on the back and then you have your- One, all oh, your lunar cycles. 13 lunar cycles. Yes. The yearly map. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? That's, mm -hmm. that's module two. Mm -hmm. Now module three has five maps, but it's, oh. it, it's basically the, the uh, one week seven step pulse map. Yeah. Where now, now you have, the seven steps and three hour chunks, but this is mm -hmm. this has got no programming of the spaces because the cycles are between the personal space, the one on one space, the community space, and the group space. Okay. Right. So. Okay. So week one uh -huh. is your personal oh. space, mm -hmm. and oh. then it's it's the same thing oh. with the mind calendar, but it's it it has the moon cycle in it, and it has the seven steps. Wow. And then the next one is the same, like it's the one on one. So mm -hmm. this is this is still module three. So this yeah. is remember what I've been wanting you and uh oh Sylvia to be creating Sylvia is to create, you know, your ideal, like to fill into these ones yeah. what your ideal was, right? So right. Now, you've got the nice package, nice. Oh and my goodness. So that's, and then you have the group one. Yeah. So you got those four. Yeah. That's module three. Now module four, the crescendo. Yeah. Is the, the session planner. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then you have your, you know, on the outside, you can have your basic seven step pulse again. So we're always integrating the models together. We're always bringing nice. in at different levels. Yeah, and all the parts of it, you're right. So then here, module five. Yeah. The weekly score sheet. Mm -hmm. so this is how you turn it into a game. Ah. And again, you do it by the spaces, the personal space, one-on-one -on -one space, group space, mm -hmm. group space. So mm -hmm. now you, you got all your time structures. Now this is your, your game structure, Yeah. Then, but you're aiming at your seven lifetime goals. Which, and that's module that's module six. six yeah but then the last module module seven mm -hmm. the time synchronization map okay and this puts them all together where now you've got your one-year planner for the community to hook together yeah you've got your one hour planner to hook the group together mm -hmm. that's your the group comes together to to meet this is more of a longer term of when they meet yeah. and then the outer you or the one on one space is your weekly map for you. Yeah. And then your personal space is your weekly score sheet, which you created specifically for you. Yeah. And then your sacred space or your seven lifetime goals. Wow. And then there's values on there. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. And then your values yeah. would, would be put on there. Okay. So that's, so series, that's series one hmm. in the design your ideal job sort of larger piece. Oh, I see. So that's specific to design your ideal job. Well, but it's also it can be anything. 
the design your ideal job. Then if we're looking at your discovery process, we do, yeah. we do the same thing uh -huh. for you. Yeah. But we can change the structure. We'd actually have to use that structure. We could go to the nine point structure, yeah. make nine of these, yeah. have, have a sort of a map or breakdown. What, and that's just the beginning of getting more because what people like, they want to go through a course, they want to get materials, they want to get something, they want to takeaways, right? That yeah, they do. Yeah. You don't just want to leave them with. So all of these, this is a very strong takeaway. Like this is a whole new time management system. Game. Yes. Anyway. Time management. I like that too, because people are short of time. And I always use that, Elijah, because we have the resource of time, the resource of money, but yet the resource of time is limited, you know, and yet they put money out there as the way more important. So, yeah. So, so what, what do you think? That is spectacular. So did but, you create uh, all that? Yeah. Yeah. But it, it took, it, it, it was hard to, not hard, but it, it took... Huh? The process of what i've been going through to go which maps like what are the maps to pull right. out of all the maps and like why in, in which order kind of and then it all of a yeah. sudden like like i've known for a while that with the year the week and the hour you can plan yeah. that's, that's there's so much leverage in just those three maps right the like, year the week and the hour yeah that you don't need anything else like those right. that's the simplest way to organize tons of time yeah and, so, and then bringing in the score sheet as the basic and so and then right. having the five communication spaces to start like this really formulates and and again it this can fit with anybody in anything like there's no yeah. anyone can add this on to their program and, yeah. and it's the way we're synchronizing the new time system so yeah so uh, elijah can we go through like let's say that that like can we go through it like design your ideal job let's just say that was me on this side saying i want to create my ideal job doing the discovery process with people right and then taking that up and creating that into a nine step or seven whatever it be maybe there's some that can be merged together right we'll right. see we'll see as you and i go through it and then so how long would this be like you just showed me this what timeline would that be if someone signed up well i i, I mean it depends i mean you could you could do let's say a seven week i mean a seven day co uh, course yeah where they do one a day kind of thing uh okay one per day more, i think it's more realistic that it be once a week as as a online yeah. course or offline but again so, you, you bring people in like you have an eight week program this is the eighth week is celebration yeah. and you take yeah. mod, each module and i'll come up with a series of exercises you can do with it um mm, or, or, you can, or you can custom design it to sort of exercises you want to do again because it's yeah there's a lot of flexibility there well and you know what i think i i don't like the word stuck but i think my mind has been so focused on the choice flow synergy and harmony map because remember yeah. even when you were going to work with tyson and you go you're going to use five states i go is that the right one or should we be doing flow yeah. because flow is behavior but yet when you think about it, Elijah, something that holds us back more than anything is our deep self, is which would be choice, right? So I think I've been limiting myself by just going, I'm just looking at those four maps. And then with the discovery process, which I haven't done for a long time, I was putting that down to 852 only. Yeah. But that 852 was powerful because it allowed me to say, we're talking about the resource of money, what's the values? Well, who are we going to work with the product or the person and then what's the goals and how are we going to get those goals out there so the three worked for me but i want to go more exclusive and bigger and deeper for people with people for sure, for sure. you know okay so do you think this is something that we could utilize in this training well i mean it it's popping out right now so it kind yeah. of it kind of makes sense i mean plus yeah. Plus, at the same time, like if we really want to stack the deck, yeah, we can, we can bring in the fact that the cards are almost coming out, so we can add the card set, and then yes. and then we have an online program, a, a training program for chat rooms, which we can design specifically for this stuff, to to bring teams of twelve oh. people together. This is the, like we can basically, <laughs> if we have the larger envelope of building a shared knowledge community. And then we go, mm -hmm. we've got these three streams that are already just coming together right now. Yep. Um, that's to me where highest value, most leverage, but another way of doing it, I mean, could be more specific to you, 
and go mm -hmm. come up with your discovery program. Yeah. Um, or we could do both kind of like have Maybe yeah. me coming in with this bigger shared knowledge community stuff and it's dovetailing into your discovery program and we're using this yeah. to help you, but then that's going to be going out into the, the world. So it's already showing how the system takes knowledge, organizes it, gets it ready to be put into the market yeah. and then yeah. looking to integrate with the other people coming in because we're using the same time maps and we're starting right. to use the same systems of language to organize certain parts of the business. Oh my goodness. This is just unbelievable. And I think if we let them, cause I mean, I have to type something up, right. To apply for this, to see if we can get in. And that's when I left him a note yesterday, I just left a voicemail, I'll talk to him first thing in the morning at creative Saskatchewan to see if there's still room number one, Yeah. because, yeah. and if number two, you know, what kind of could be some of the expectations, but I have no clue. It doesn't tell me that I have room for 200 words. It tells me nothing in there what I'm typing up. So, but here's some things I wrote about. Like I, I, I put in design your ideal job as something. And these are just things I just plot down on a piece of paper. Mentorship, design your ideal job, circle of life. So circle of life, if that shifts the name or whatever, those are nine different parts of life that are part about, about you. And it's about the job and the mission. It's about money. It's about your spirituality. It's about your health and well-being which all branches down to mental well-being, emotional well-being, right? Mm -hmm. and, then it, and then there's a spot on there, like depending where you come in, because I don't care, Elijah, you can have 12 people in a room and one of those nine spots is something that's impacting them in their life that they really need some guidance on. Whether it's family, and we don't even put family under relationships. We keep that separate, then relationships, then fun, like just in your life, making sure you're having fun. And then is that nine? Wasn't tracking. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's Finances, okay. Finances, right. I think you're. Um, yeah, money. Um, I did put them. So I'll finish my sheet. I get a little bit sidetracked. Sorry about that. Sometimes we need a bridge and sometimes we are the bridges from the old ways of, I just put dots to the new way working with a unique mapping system based on values and conscious conversations. There are times in life when we all need a little help, especially with what we have been going through right now, right here, right now in the world. We are here to offer that opportunity to guide others to shine their lights or their gifts and be the beacon of light. We have the new paradigm toolkit. Remember, what matters is that we are stronger and these tools create that shared, we are stronger together. And these tools will create that shared knowledge community. What matters is where you are right now, as we can spend minutes, hours, days, weeks, and even months to overanalyze a situation through this navigational mapping system, we will set your, you can set your intention. Your intention will guide you to design your ideal job, live more fulfilled in your relationships, build your relationship with money from fear to love, learn to bring your best self forward to your job, live your life on purpose, stepping into your health. And I'm just throwing these out there. Stepping into your healthiest self and understand what brings you anxiety. Values live in the conversations we have about what's important to us. In business, it is what is the company trying to deliver. Value gaps in our deep internal values, we call a choice map. You have a purpose for your money that aligns with your core values to guide you to feel financially secure. How do you become aligned with that flow of money in your life and to experience the abundance that you deserve? And then I just wrote myself a little side note. Canada right now owes a dollar and 71 for every dollar of disposable income. Like, isn't that ridiculous? Jeez. So here's your circle of life, spiritual health and well-being, money, community involvement and volunteering, career and job, personal and consistent growth, relationships, family happiness and fun. Mm. And then she used a word when I listened to her podcast yesterday, she used the word discoverability. I freaking love it, Elijah. She's all about language. Mm. She says it's the words, you know, in the search engine optimization and all that kind of stuff. It's all in the words and the language, right? She says discoverability and how to get us found is key. And that, I'm talking about us, like with this new paradigm stuff. We currently have an entrance map that is free right now and available in person at, at our location in Yorkton. We really want to get it 
digitized so that we're able to reach so many more people and organizations and have them engage in this process. This process is called the Hub Factor. It guides them to an understanding of values and conversations and how this will lead them to lead them to create their own map. We currently call the Five Spaces Communications Map. This is created with their specific primary intention in whatever er whatever area of life they feel is needed the most. As we all know, all areas, no matter what, impact the other areas. So out of those nine things I said to you, it doesn't matter which one it is, it's impacting the rest of it. For sure. Language is key to get the new paradigm toolkit out there. And though and through digitization, we feel this is key as we know that search engine optimization is grounded in words. Elijah is our originator and our discoverer. A website is so much more than just our home pages. What do we need to get attention to those other pages? Discovery is all about the first impressions and audience led social sharing is so important because when we see stuff on, on the internet and we all of a sudden see people really engaging and embracing and sharing, that's powerful stuff. So it's like paying attention to that. Um, we wanna become a trusted resource and to see what our audience is gonna to respond to. What does our audience want? And then give them what they need. As we are seeing, there's a total thirst for real people. Stories that are told to create connection to our audience. We, need, we know we need to pinpoint this audience. We want to bring this to schools, organization, healthcare. We know we need to walk in the shoes of our audience. Bridging the values gaps and understanding our values through conversations happens when our deep internal, uh, deep internal values, the inner you and our behaviors and actions do not align, creating stress, anxiety and imbalance. This map is called the flow map, which is the outer you. And this is just me last night, just mm. typing. The gap as it happens is a problem and leads to underperformance within our organizations and in our personal life. But even more, more so as our individuals, as our lights get dimmed. Understanding our values, whether it's an individual or a business or an organization is key to growth. Knowing ourselves truly requires an understanding of why we do what we do. This is the key step in becoming your authentic self as a leader of ourselves in self-leadership. Our system, our system, guides people to engage in having these conversations that involve who we are and what we believe in today. And then I wrote down our audience. This is from her podcast now. Look at three niches. And I already read that to you about the emotional journey, core issues, themes, yada, yada. And then um, there are so many conversations already. So don't use gender. And then I just wrote in at the very bottom, we really want to reach a global audience. So that's my notes. I can I'll send them to you. No, I like I, I would it. say write it up. Like um Okay. Like so I, what stood out? Well, like I love it all. I mean, it was all mm -hmm. it's all like I think we just have to differentiate uh -huh. the, the specific like do we have to have let's say a specific project that is going to be the project that runs yeah. through this this thing? Yeah. So we have yeah. to watch out for sort of scope creep or like what specifically are we going to do? Because there's so much we could do. Okay. I know that's what my problem is. There's so much. And the way that I think, Elijah, it's always too big in the moment. Yeah, we both yeah. got that one a bit. Yeah. Um, so, so the reality check, I think what Sylvia is doing is she's, yeah. she's coming in with just the first part, like the thing, the start. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and maybe, and... I think she's right there in terms of like, that's a great place to start. And it may be the only, like, let's say, I mean, at our sibl at the simplest, if you just came up with the whole system to put one map up, basically yeah. then you've got the system to put everything else up because it, it takes a lot to get that, the map in the sort of uh, all the other things that need to connect to that map. Yeah. In so are you saying that one map being the five spaces map? Yeah. yeah. Like, like, I see. Like it is, the whole system can be overwhelming, but that one map is very good as a starting point to go, yeah. look, these are the five main areas. This is the one of the main things you do is you program these areas with, with values. So yeah. what, like you can say maybe something a bit more about like this unique technology that where uh, sort of like a discovery of how to program fields with values. Okay. And to bring in the art of divination in a way like and that's the thing about you know we didn't even talk about that 
I know we talk about that. And it's something which everyone may go, oh, what are you talking about? Like, that's the thing where, you know, where humans are at, that's a massive thing. But we know within our own usability that it, it's it's certainly it works same ballpark like it's it's a yeah. it's a credible source of uh, of seeing things like a, well you know I Carrie I use the word divinity and she said to me after when we did kind of a after to kind of talk about it a little bit she goes Lori I think you know when you do this you it, it, those are words that this team at the school wouldn't even relate to so that's why and I know we could have shortened the time by you know and I know you would say this Elijah don't go 20 to 10 to that just start with 10 and get them to put them in half the way and and we asked questions and people said it was really hard for me to take those 10 and turn them into five because I felt like I was leaving something out Mm. that was their that was their comments you mean you mean to actually then divine the answers they they wanted to keep those other five with them kind of thing yeah yeah they felt like they were but they were good like i said let's do and i didn't even call it i said i I think i said the word divine but i said let's just explore remember you chose all these cards these are all the cards you chose these 10 now let's see which ones land up in what which spot and please allow this so one of the guys he's a tech guy he goes you know what Every single space fit for me. The only one that I have to kind of look at because I'm not sure how it fits is my sacred space. And I said to him, I said, this is where it's really exciting to take this with you out into your day, your week, your month ahead of you and just start paying attention to that value in that space and see how it fits because it doesn't always make sense initially. I, you know, I like is more the feedback from people as you go through the process is what's most so powerful and i mean did, uh, uh, tell me yeah. more about like the whole thing like how many people were you speaking to there were 30 people I, i'm tra- having trouble hearing you something oh 27 there were 30 people in the school system mm-hmm. and they were all at their own computers so you were in a zoom call with 30 people i know like, how crazy is that, Elijah? Have you ever done it's that many people? Never in my entire life. Like, well, have you ever done more than five in Zoom? No. <laughs> well, no, Carrie, Carrie and I did Dare to Be You with nine. Dare to Be You had nine. So, but So you had 30 teachers. 30. And you got to do the whole thing by yourself. Yeah. That's, that's quite a, that's a milestone in terms of facilitation. You know, that's I a, guess I realize it is a milestone. And when you see the way, like the way we presented it, Sylvia and I worked two nights at the office. And this is what I said to her, no more are we waiting till the night before. However, the night before we timed everything, we went through it. Sylvia did the pause, like the meditation. And then she ran the slides. And I got to tell, I put up the LR future map, my pink one. That's why I needed you to send that to me. I put that up and I explained to them how that worked and how our team chose those but honestly elijah going through it at the very end when i asked each of them to put whatever value they chose for group space please put in the chat and as they were showing up i'm going innovation love you know and learning da 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 i'm reading those off and i'm getting more and more excited as i'm reading all 30 so our gift to them at the end not at the end but it'll come next week is we're going to do one of those word grams where all those values come into that scrambled word thing and we're going to mail it. Nice. That'll be kind of a, a, here's, thank you for this. So um, hitting groups like that. And then if we have the opportunity to say, now we can work with you one-on-one or in smaller groups with your, whatever it is, that's where we get the value financially as well is because schools can't afford thousands of dollars right like carrie said you know she probably had i think a 350 dollars budget for that but i said carrie it's worth it for me because it's giving me training for sure you know no. so and we want to get to the people in the schools because they're impacting the kids no i think it's a huge achievement and to think about that that those 30 teachers have a shared reference point energetically of all these beautiful values in that group space 
And now that now it's going to increase that field of realization for them to actually realize them. So that that school is going to be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I really. You didn't tell that part, did you? <laughs> that's one of the most exciting. No, I didn't. One of the most exciting things I've ever presented in my life because I know how powerful it is. And I'm only one person and I have a personality that gets excited fast. Mm. But I, I really took time with them. Like we went through each of the spaces and if we, we, ran, we were running out of time, so then I wasn't able to say, okay, what do you see? Like let's 30 people, what do you see? Please unmute yourself and let me know what you think one-on-one -on -one space is and then start to throw those ideas, right? So, you know, commute uh, group space or one-on-one -on -one space, she said, it's me when I'm dealing with the parent of the child that I'm teaching. Like there was some good feedback, Elijah. Mm. I think Sylvia taped it or Carrie, whoever did the Zoom. I hope so. Can I, can I uh, get to see that? Watch. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And then you can give me some insight too on what you see there. Because I see myself being that person. Like I believe I can create the excitement and get it out there. That's just what I love to do. Mm. It's what I love. And then I think it's the follow through that we've got to have with this to keep it the momentum for, for people. Sure. Well, I think yeah. that even looking like this right now, right, where we've got like a, a very smart package, all we need is some promo video yes. and make an online course. Yeah. And had, like, it doesn't have to be that expensive. Like I think for this first one, mm -hmm. I either want it, you know, as a gift or low, ex low expense so we can get volume okay. and get yeah. everyone sort of in, into the, the mindset. You know, Elijah, I look at these things and I'll see step one. If you look at a set of staircases and you go step one, it's something that you give for free, maybe a little ebook, maybe something like that. Then step two is for, you know, $47. But next thing you know, you're getting 5,000 people on there, right? So I think you're right. And Carrie and I had a talk um, yesterday and it's like, how can we keep the price reasonable to get no one? And then you build on it. Like Kaylee kept trying to talk us into going with this woman she was working with. Well, it's 10 freaking or $20,000. Like, are you kidding me? It ain't happening. I, I just, that just fried my brain. She was so determined that that's what we should do because that's what'll get us out there. Well, and I go, that's not where I want to start. I think we've got, so should we use Elijah then? five spaces map like I like the way you've done the what that map now where you've got goal on the bottom of the circles the map I have doesn't have that yeah this is a, sort of an upgrade map or a, okay I like that one now do you date them as you upgrade them or what do you do um yeah I mean I vary so I guess uh mm -hmm. like this like I'm I've been going through a sort of upgrade of them all like I had to kind of get a uniformity with all the maps and kind of yeah <clears throat> so i tried to make them all a little bit better but i think we may have these i mean the next thing is making these into software so right well that's do you think that's how we can what'll work with us being able to work with this creative saskatchewan do you think that'll come into play well it depends on like i think like the real leverage point i think is getting the 12 facilitators to create the shared knowledge community mm -hmm. that's <clears throat> If, if we really want to aim high yeah that could be the bigger container yeah and then within that is the container let's say of the card set within that's the container of the maps mm -hmm. and then beside that if you want it would be you coming in with design your i mean with with um the discovery process and yeah. so then we we merge the time with money yeah as an entry point and oh. then people, people will come in and they'll take both oh, there's a possibility of taking both mm -hmm. and both together is the beginning of creating their ideal job within the shared knowledge community on these teams which we're already starting to place people on so we're coming in for the individual to get the timing and the money and then on yeah. the other side we're coming in at the team and starting to look at okay how do we create business teams you know you yeah. send like the research team the infrastructure team like how do like how do we how do we do it yeah. you know yeah. i I'm, I'm doing it to let in a different manner 
I'm going to be doing, let's say with planetary guardians in a different, yeah. Yeah. but there's, there's open possibility for any possible really configuration, right? Right. So, like you could have so, uh, a men's team. You could have a women's team. You could have. Oh a, my you know. gosh. Could you ever, and Rob's nephew in Regina, he's got a men's group. Mm. He just did a nice talk on the inter on Facebook about they're looking for one more gentleman, but he goes through what is it what, that men are going through. Mm. And we're here as a safe group. And I thought, you know, when I when I mean, I've known him for years, but his dad passed away, Rob's older brother. But I remember saying to him and his girlfriend, how did you two meet? And it, he paused for a minute. He goes, oh, it's you, Lori. We met a, at a cacao ceremony. But as a guy, that ego, that male was like, if you're talking to not the right people, you're not going to tell them that. They're going to look like at you like you're corny because you met at a cacao ceremony, right? Mm. So I thought that was kind of cool. He's December birthday, December 14th. You and I are December. He's a fellow SAG. Are you oh. December? I'm November. I'm oh, late, November. You're late, still a SAG. Yeah. yeah. You're still a SAG. So, so okay. did you write that stuff down? Did you? Yeah. Okay. I got that. I got that written down. So I'm, I've got it typed up in a Word document. So I might just tweak it. That's why I thought I'd send it to you, Elijah. And then you look at some words in here and circle some things that stand out that I'm going to put okay. in this proposal. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Send me what you got. And then I'll do an edit on my own. If... And then do an edit. What you see, just put yours in red or something like that. And then we can go from there. And then I will do it up later today. And then I'll wait till tomorrow morning when I talk to the guy. First thing in the morning, and then I'll send it in. Okay. Just in case he tells me something that gets me to shift a little bit on what I, the information I typed up. Okay. This is kind of fun. I'm finding all kinds of stuff. Now, this is Saskatchewan, but I mean, there's probably something similar for Manitoba, Alberta, BC. It's just it, to know that stuff. Yeah. And we could find, let's say, partners in each province. Exactly. And I think that's a, that's a big goal. And let's just start with the West for now. Okay. You know, so yeah. we got get this LR future because it's still a corporation. And because I had Kaylee as a summer student, we applied one of my friends is a debt management with MN with um, uh, BDO. BDO is a debt solutions company. And she's one of the debt advisors. And we've known each other forever. She told the guy to get a hold of me. He was doing a training. Get this, Elijah, you're going to flip Saskatchewan through what's called Pan SAS. You can apply for it. And it was a COVID something. If your business was impacted by COVID, this is, it's a mark, digital marketing course. It starts on Tuesday. We got accepted, LR Future. So I said to Kaylee, so I, that's why Kaylee's such a little gem. I said, Kaylee, I'm keeping you on for five hours a month. You can do some of my Facebook stuff because we need her as an employee to be able to do the training. Uh, Guess how much his training is? How much? Yes. Just throw it out there. And it's all paid for. 20,000? 10. 10,000. And we put his little, you know, what he markets to people, but he had to go out there. They had to go out there and find me. Right. And say there's this grant for free that covers you. Do you know how much shit like that there's out there? Mm. Do lot. you know how many people I know if all of a sudden what we have could qualify under that umbrella how right. many people i know just in saskatchewan alone unbelievable elijah so that's what i'm seeing as a bigger picture mm. because the stuff we got we have you have there is nobody else has it mm. so 10 grand but so i can when i get back i don't have it i don't think download it but you can see just what he has it's six pages meet our team Da 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 da, done. Right. And I go well. If I get if we get the grant, well, I'm not going to complain. We'll take it. So Kaylee stayed on board. She won't have time to do it, but my niece is going to do it. Okay. It has to be an employee. It can't be. It can't be me. Right. I can take it in the background. <laughs> right. I just can't be the one. It has to be an employee. And then how's it going to benefit them by going through this? Okay. Yeah. So we just have to search for some of those things, Elijah, and how they fit in and how we can propose to people through this. You know how exciting that is for me? Well, the, there, well there's another, like I have, uh, 
um, I don't know if I told you, but I was working with somebody who wants to create uh, food security for all the First Nations reserves. And he went through this program that was a business plan program at University yeah. of Victoria, and it, they, they really didn't come through. And he didn't come out with a business plan, didn't come out with a presentation, didn't get the support. And I was sort of beside him as it happened, helping as I could, not full support, but I, I certainly was, was doing a fair share. Yeah. And, but he's still in my mind, let's say a client or still in my mind of going, you know, he's got a great idea. Um, he has access, there is access to First Nations funding. He, yeah. need, he needs help with a business plan and presentation basically, right? right. So, that's, that's what they need. So, you know, we, I think we could create quite a, you know, we need a bunch of specialists, right? Each that are good at doing something and, and really yeah. start to get to work on these bigger projects together. Um, I think you're right. I, you know, when we did those calls on that Monday night, I think Elijah, like you're such a conduit. So if we could bring a few people together and saying, okay, what angle are you coming from? What avenue are you coming from? And all of a sudden this guy in BC has got this great program for First Nations. Well, I've got people that work HR and casinos in the SEGA casinos here and everything. Mm. So we can tap into there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I'll so send this to you, right? If I don't get this to you right away, it'll be after my Spanish class because I got to head to the hall. I mean, I would suggest to you that there's in your mm -hmm. network, there's somebody yeah. who's like a professional proposal writer kind of thing. Yeah. And, and yeah. I think you should sit down with them and say, and, or we, the two of us can, and, yeah. and just talk about all the sort of possibility we're holding and yeah. to set them loose like just that's their job go after proposals okay. they can get a percentage and well maybe that's what i have to do because you know even like grant writers i used to say let's get a grant writer let's pay them a percentage yeah. because i don't have the time to do that and i don't i'm not an expert at it so if we can find the experts and just give them reward them by giving them a percentage yeah. Okay. I will put that on my radar. I'm probably not going to send this till after my course. Okay. And then we'll go from there and maybe we'll, who knows, I'll chat, chat with you in the morning. I'll send you just a quick note, let you know how the phone call went. Okay. Okay. And I'll watch for my stuff later, Elijah. So I'll get it to you after three. Okay. Okay. Sounds okay. good. Have a great rest of the day. Yeah. Great. Great to see you. Thanks.